Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day to you. For me, besides being Sunday fun day, it is auction day. My local fish club, which you hear me talk about all the time, uh, is having their annual auction and uh, I have to get ready. So my local club is uh, Jersey Shore Aquarium Society, J-S-A-S. I do belong, or I do go to other auctions. Um, you know, I've gone three hours away to Connecticut uh, for an auction. And, you know, I've been to the Bucks County Aquarium Society, BCAS, which is my by far my favorite, which I've talked about before. That's on May 5th this year. Um, but check Facebook for the, your local fish clubs, and they always post our auctions. And usually sister clubs post other clubs auctions <coughs> because to tell you the truth it's a lot of fun you go you see other fish nerds you hang out um, a lot of the clubs uh, have like a little not cafe but they sell like snacks and lunch and it's usually pretty good food i mean it's not filet mignon but you know a good sausage and pepper or chicken parm sandwich i'm never gonna say no to right um and it raises money for the club. That's the whole reason for these auctions are to raise money for the club. That's why in my club, right, you know, today, I'm only going to make 60% of what I sell. 40% goes to the club. And that's fine with me. I'm not going there to make money. I like to break even, but I, I'm not planning on it. If I do, great. If not, okay. I'm supporting my club. And what that money goes for for the club, I'm not a board member. I don't know everything for sure. If you're, you know big into clubs and a board member and you know more leave a comment below but it goes to um providing you with speakers every month at their meeting there's a speaker most times there's a fee for those speakers um and in a lot of cases you have to pay for their travel so if you get somebody um like chris biggs who comes from canada i don't know you know that's a lot of money right flying from canada hotels so the clubs need the money. That's what I'm getting at. So, normally, I bag my fish the night before. But last night, I had to have family time. Had to watch Monsters University, which was a pretty funny movie. Um, so, I woke up a little bit early, and uh, I'm going to start bagging fish. I only have, it looks like, eight bags that I registered for. That usually changes as I start bagging fish. I usually start adding stuff or occasionally there aren't fish I like that, you know, um, they're not good enough for me to put into an auction. I, <clears throat> so there's there's a couple different things with auctions you have to be aware of. And this is a little secret somebody told me. A lot of people put their mediocre or almost culls into auctions because they don't want them. They figure they can get rid of them. And to be honest, most fish in a bag don't look great. So so people aren't, you know, hugely disappointed when they get home and they find out that the, you know, tail on the, the male guppy is all jacked up or, you know, whatever. So, and there's really nothing they can do about it. I mean, in most cases, it's just a bag. Like my, my auction bags have my name on it, have my uh, YouTube channel, my email. Actually, I have new cards. I'll show you those in a second that I got for NEC next weekend that I'm using for this weekend. So let me get the cards. Let me show you those. Let me start bagging. I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks, that's my card. You can see it's got my name on it. It's got all my social media outlets. It's got, of course, my logo, my email, my website. So, and then in the blank space right there, that's where I write what's in the bag because you have to label your bag. So. You know trio red cobra guppies or whatever it might be so all right i'm gonna go start bagging i may film a little bit of that i may not we'll see i'll be back all right fishy folks it's almost 9 a.m and uh i'm all packed ready to go only have eight bags of fish i did throw a, a handful of ricky in a bag so that too um i don't expect that to bring a whole lot of money but rather than throw it out i might as well give it you know let another hobbyist use it right so uh, all right, I'm going to uh, head on out. I have my coffee. I've had a little bit of breakfast, but to be honest, 
I really enjoy going to these things early, hanging out with, you know, other fish nerds, talking about what they're breeding, what we can trade, making um, sort of business connections. And, uh, you know, you go, you have a, a pork roll and egg and cheese sandwich. It's a Jersey thing. If you don't know what it is, you're missing out. It's kind of like a tangy bologna, but it's, it's delicious. Kaiser roll, uh, egg, cheese, and grilled Taylor ham or pork roll, depending if you're from North or South Jersey. Same thing, different name. All right, I'm getting off track. Um, so it's about a little more than an hour drive from my house. Uh, registration opens at nine, I think, so I won't be there first thing, but I'll be there before it closes. Get a good seat and uh, start talking to some of my friends. So I'll see you guys in a little while. When I get there, I'll, I'll film again and uh, let you know what the story is. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, I made it. Uh, a little, like I said, a little more than an hour, about an hour and five minutes from my house. And uh, it's at a fire hall. It's actually a pretty nice uh, little place. Um, it's in Wall Township, New Jersey, which is near the shore. And uh, I'm gonna go in, I'll register. I'll try to um, film some stuff about registering and all that, but Sometimes people get a little funny if you're asked to film. I mean, these guys know me, so I'll, I'll probably be okay, but just giving you for fair, fair, just giving you fair warning. All right, be right back. All right, fishy folks, it's about an hour before the auction starts. In theory that all those tables back there, there's no one supposed to be back there for viewing until 11, it's before 11. It's really not a rule that's enforced. So over there on the right is where you register your fish and then you bring them to those tables just to the right of the screen where they make sure they're labeled correctly, they're not leaking, and you can put your stickers on them. And what the stickers are, they do, they do au start auctioning them off in rounds. So like the red, anything with a red sticker goes first, then a blue sticker, then a yellow sticker. And depending on how many lots you have, is depends on how many stickers they give you. So. If you want stuff to go early, you put your red stickers on it, so on and so forth. So usually by the time we start, all these chairs will be full and there will be more chairs added. Uh, you can see, oh look, there's me in the mirror, but they have some food here and they have some, some dry goods for sale up there. Uh, I might get some of those cichlid stones that look pretty cool and they're cheap. And there's some filters and some food and there's a registration table for club members. I have to renew my dues. I forget how much they are. I think $20 for a year, really not bad. There's some raffle prizes, fancy little tank there. And this, this tank here, and you know, it's pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's go walk and take a look in the back. All right, so <clears throat> we're in the back with all the bags. They have uh, tables labeled, so there's live bearers back there, and there's some Africans here, South American, South and Central Americans here, angelfish, and some dry goods and stuff. And, and when you label them, they put them on those tables, and they try to grab... Um, when they auction, they try to grab different different bags and stuff. There's some plants I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be looking for. Let me show you these plecos I want. These L600s, you can't really see them in the bag, but they are spectacular. A couple of plecos I want, not really any guppies, some plants. Um, if things go cheap, I'll definitely buy them and just flip them, just sell them to you guys. Um, but to be honest, there isn't a whole lot I'm looking for other than plecos, I think. There's some really nice angels, though. Let's see. These are some high coverage koi's from somebody named Sean, who I don't recognize. But they're pretty nice. All right. I'm gonna get started soon. I'm gonna go eat my pork egg and pork roll egg and cheese sandwich, and uh, I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, we're about 15 minutes from the start of the auction. Uh, the stuff pretty much doubled. 
between now and the last time I spoke to you, I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of plecos I want. Not too many guppies, to be honest. But if things go cheap, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely buy them and see see what I can do with them. So next time I come back, you will see actual bidding. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. All right, guys. See you. I will walk and talk, so. Um, I made a mistake. You know, the 50-50, I said it was $50. Well, right now the price is 90 All right, that means it is auction, right? That means it, it could be close to a free auction, except for you two discus guys. I know. You're paying for them. All right? So, you know, buy some more, and the discus guys get a chance to have a free auction. All right, um, who's my announcer? I am. All right, okay, right. no photo, lot number 446, a nice pair of gold sailfin mollies. <laughs> gold sailfin mollies, let's see these guys. Nice. Yeah, the <laughs> Stunning. Five. Who's going to give me five? I want ten. Who's got ten on these? I got ten. Who's got twelve? Ten. Ten going once. Ten going twice. Sold ten dollars. Mollies? Two. 435. Okay. We're going to move these things, guys. No photo. Lot number 477. A pair of Blue King Cobra Guppies. I'm going to have to bid on these. Blue King Cobra Guppies. Who's going to give me an $8 opening bid on the Guppies? $8 over here. Who's got 10 $8. Come on. This is an auction. 10 over here. Who's got 12 10 going once. Who's got 12 10 going twice. Sold 10 I got 12 over here. You got 14 Yeah. I got 14 here. 14 going once. I got 16 on the back. 16 going once. 16 going twice. Sold 16 to lot uh, vendor. Who you are? Uh, yeah, yeah. 699. <laughs> Image 389. Lot number 336. Hyperfilia I'll wait Arugula. until later in the auction to bid. All right, guys. I'm putting the phone down. My arm hurts. All right. There's three of these in the auction. All right. I won't bid on uh, this one unless it's really Plato. cheap. I'll bid on the third one. All the other it's options I go for like forty it's or fifty bucks. So that's that's fifteen bucks right there. Let's that see where we big. end up. All right, so that's twenty. So who's gonna give me a twenty dollar opening bid on the black guy? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's going. Nobody. Nobody's got twenty bucks. I got twenty bucks. Put your card up. That's all I see in the back. I got 20 in the front row for the Pleco with a number and a king in front of it. Nobody's going to do better than that? Me. $20, I got 21, man. Who's got 22? We'll see what the other ones go for. You got to lose it for a buck. I got 23. Look, he bit his friend. He said, no, nah, you can't have it. <laughs> 24. I got 24 right here for the discus king. 24 going once. 24, put that card up. 24 twice. Sold 668 for $24. All right, we'll see what's next. Image number. All right, I want these. I'm bidding. Two. Okay. Look at that pitch. That's that's a twenty-five dollar pitch right there, ain't it? So who's gonna put their card up for twenty-five dollars? I got twenty-five in the back. I got thirty. Thirty. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Forty-five. Fifty. Nope. Fifty-five. 55, it's probably 60, worth it, but too much for me. 65 in the back on 701, 65, 70 dollars here, 70 dollars, this fish is beautiful, 70 dollars going once, I got 75 over there, she says you can't have it, hey, 80 dollars hey, hey. over here, 85, 90, we're talking 95 dollars here, thank you, 95 dollars, I got 100 dollars on the new black up, she's got to put some money in the 50, 50, she's getting nothing. More. 105, 110. She wants it. So do you, 115. I got 120. 125. 130. 135. 140. Who's got the mortgage? I got 140 going in. This is the best fish I've ever sold. I want to get these in my arm. 140 going once for 701. 140 twice. I don't know if it's worth it, but they're pretty cool. All right, fishy folks, it's about a little after two. We've been here two hours. None of my lots have gone up. 
Not too happy about that. Prices are pretty good for a lot of things. Guppies are... Yeah. I'm hoping some of the more fancy strains go for more. Some of these koi, a bag of these koi went for like $50 before. I consider buying them, but... Say hi, Joe. That's Joe. I missed how much they went for. We're going to watch a little auction action here. Ammo chips. Acryl, like a five-pound bucket. Five-pound jar of ammo chips. They go great with onion dip. And if you happen to be like on your way home and your cats are in your car and they need to go, you sprinkle a little bit of this in the well. It's no dual purpose, folks. Um, ammonia away green. Oh, it takes green water. It'll clear your green water. So this time of year when the sun is up a little bit longer. Complete BS, I'm bit, sure. Really well so I have to open your bed at 10 bucks for that yeah, after all. Let me get 10. I got 5 over 7. I got 7 over 9. 9 over 11. 9 in front over 11. 11 over 13. 13 over 15. 13 over 15. 13 over 15. 15 in the front. 13 over 15. 13 going once. 13 going twice. So for 13 to number 216. $13. I wonder how much it goes from the store. No photo, got four seventy five translucent Priscilla Riverite Tetris. Some strange Tetra. Visible fish, no, Tra five translucent uh, Tetris. Don't no, no, over here five bucks for the Tetris. They're pretty big actually. So give me five. Five way in the back look for seven. Five in the back look for seven on transfer. Like a seven look for nine. Seven I like got nine in the back look for eleven. Nine in the back look for eleven. Eleven look for thirteen. Eleven front look for thirteen. Thirteen in the back look for fifteen. Fifteen look for seventeen. Seventeen look for nineteen. Seventeen look for nineteen. Seventeen in the front look for nineteen. Seventeen look for nineteen going once. Seventeen look for nineteen going twice. Sold for seventeen to number two one six. Seventeen. No photo. Black number four sixty seven. Six hollow green rice borders. All right, I'm Our done for now. For All right, fishy folks, it's about 6 o'clock. The auction just ended. This pickler auction doesn't pay you. Uh, right away, they mail you a check. Some of them pay you, some of them don't. It is what it is. I sold, uh, let's see, eight lots of guppies. And they went for anywhere between 10 and $16. So I didn't do great, but I didn't do terrible. It was definitely worth it to come. I made uh, I made some money on some things. I'll show you what I bought. Uh, some narrow leaf Java fern for the tank upstairs. I got uh, four brown bushy nose pleco juveniles. They're like the calicos. They're small. They're smaller than I thought they were, but they came from uh, Karen Haas, who's um, sort of a you know a well-known person around here there is appears to be some duckweed in there so that's an added bonus uh, my bottle of water you don't care about i got some sagittaria grown floating i didn't know that but sagittaria for the tank upstairs maybe we'll put it in a guppy tank and we'll see uh and i got java fern free jar with the java fern also for the tank upstairs and I got uh, Dr. Tim's Aquatics Ben Ben Fishall. I don't know. It's some sort of food that you grind up for fish. I got it for free. It was given to me. The best is this funky male betta, which I put up on my Facebook page for sale, and within about less than an hour, it was sold. So um, it's from. The New Jersey Betta Hatchery, Susie Graham. Uh, she's the breeder. She breeds awesome. Bruce, she bred Bruce, but she breeds awesome fish. And uh, it went really cheap, and I sold her for a good price. So uh, that is a pretty cool looking Betta. And that's it. I didn't really. Uh, a lot of plecos went for a lot of money. I was looking for plecos. Um, those plecos that I I told you all about went for $140 for the pair, which uh, is a lot of money. Oh, and I got the cichlid cave, $3. Um, I figure for $3, I'd throw it in the Episto tank and be done with it. Not throw it, because it would break. All right, fishy folks, I have about a little more than an hour ride home. 
And then I have to, I got a buddy coming over to pick up two tanks that he needs for his fish. He's got big fish. And uh, yeah, so that's that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, let me know. Once again, I will be at NEC in the vendor room, which is next week in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Uh, I'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you're there, stop by, say hi. All right, guys, hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out the website, perhaps subscribe. And if you do subscribe, you should probably smash the notification button. Wait, you smash the subscribe button, but you gently caress the notification bell. Get it right, Mike. Sorry. All right, folks. See ya. Uh, is having their annual spring auction, even though it's not spring, but it is March. Um, thanks, Captain Obvious. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy auction day. Sunday fun day for me or you. Auction day for me. Damn it.